Hello there and welcome back to part 2 of the, well, I was to say the battle of, but this is actually called Mumius defeat, so uh, we could call it the battle of uh, Spartacus camp perhaps, because that's what we are fighting over here, but even though the Romans have really not reached the camp of uh, Spartacus yet, Mumius is by the way here, He's trying to urge his troops forward, but they are pushed back all the time but by loads of missiles from uh, from the slave army lines here, who have a nice, nice solid line with lighter troops though, but missile capable. So, as you can see, the Romans are taking a lot of casualties here. Uh, it's not only by these javelins, also Spartacus himself has ordered a charge into the flank of uh, the Roman legionaries. Uh, he did that together with a, a warrior unit who got quite badly beaten actually by that attack, uh, which was a bit unsuccessful, but Spartacus coming in the second way with his more, you know, disciplined units, a medium heavy infantry unit here, he has done a lot of damage towards the Romans so far. But we have Mumius and we have another Roman leader here with full a full legionary unit each, so they are still very dangerous here. So we're gonna see how this continues. By the way, we have seen some uh, javelin throwing over here and same thing over here, but now serious things happening on the flanks. Maybe the Romans need to gather up more troops towards the center because their primary aim is to get, as I said, this uh, uh, camp. And by the way, the rules say that if the Roman player starts in two camp hexes, they can remove those camp hexes and transform those into a victory banner. And victory banners, we don't have any dealt yet for the Romans. We have two for the uh, Spartacus player. So let's see how this continues. It's actually the Romans who go next. So let's see if they can gather up the forces, maybe attack here again. Uh, I think I mentioned that last time that the Romans had been a bit crippled by not being able to activate troops in the center. That has been a big problem for them. Let's see if they are more lucky with that now then. So what do we get? We got the C or lowest order count. So we have only one card up for the Romans uh, actually now. So it's two on the left, which is not a good card for them. Let's see what the C holds. A dark in the sky. Okay, let, uh, I don't know. So two here or a dark in the sky. Not too nice of a card to get right now. Actually, I need to play that, I think. So we play a dark in the sky. Not too useful, but it might turn out good because we can fire twice with the light cavalry towards Spartacus himself. And we can actually pour in some fire towards that um, warrior unit there. So let's start here. Uh, light cavalry, first attack. Only one died since they are in woods. No hit. Second attack. No. Then we have the auxilia. No. Second attack. No. No hits here. But here's a more important thing actually. And here we got two dice. Let's see if we can decimate Spartacus medium heavy is there. Actually got a hit. First hit and we're gonna check Spartacus himself. He's fine. But we still got another attack to do. And we got another hit. So now Spartacus in danger here. Real danger. And we need to check him once more actually. And that was really close. It actually went like that and then it rolled back to the red side. Really close that he fell there by these aggressive uh, light cavalry javelin attack there. Okay, not too shabby here actually, uh, but I think they want to activate troops in the center, I mean the heavier troops though, uh, if they have the chance to select a card to play, they need something here now, desperately. So it's Spartacus again, I think he might need to withdraw now, it's a C, D or E for him, so let's see. Light troops to center, a counterattack which would be a dark in the sky, which would have been a nicer one if the Romans had been more further up, because then we could have fired really, really many uh, dice. And then we have a left inspire leadership. 
meaning I could only use I could use it to activate one unit. And maybe I want to do it now. The thing is though. No, I'm gonna actually play two in the center. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually Hmm. Yeah, what do I want to do then? I could attack and get more, one more banner actually here. Should I sacrifice that medium heavy? Because if I just move it away like that, they might be, you know, attacked anyway and just killed off. So it may be better to do something with it. So I'm gonna do that, but I might, yeah, unactivate that guy and I will activate that guy. So let's start with a, no, that's not in the center. That's not in the center, we can't do that. I, I often do these mistakes, I don't know why actually. I, by mistake, uh, you know, activate something that's not in the section that I have activated. But good thing I noticed that, so we gonna instead then activate these guys. So start with a javelin throwing. Let's see if we can get a hit there. You got the flag, but we can ignore it. Then we have Spartacus attack. He tried to get one more banner. Let's see if he's successful. He... No, he wasn't actually. He only got one hit. Only one there. And we got the flag, but they can still ignore that flag. So that Roman unit will actually battle back with four, and they have leader support. That was an optimal result for Spartacus. <laughs> no hits, but two flags, and I think these guys are really happy to get that, because now they can retreat back into the lines. So, huge luck there. Uh, I can't believe it. What a lucky, lucky roll. Okay. Let's replace that card, and then it's the Romans again, right? Yep. A, B, or C. A bit more to choose from now. We still have these two on the left. In uh, slot A, we now have heavy troops. Bad one. There's no heavy troops. And medium troops. Maybe that's what we were looking for. Now we can push forward with the remnants here uh, yeah we need to do it I think I might though start getting back those harmed units you know uh, so let's see we're gonna move up here these guys move back these guys move up oh sorry I should actually have chosen the troops first but I can order four units, so it's these guys. And these guys will just back off. So here we can throw some javelins and I will try to get that last block of the Spartacus uh, unit there. That's another flag, we can ignore it. And these guys will attack that flank auxiliary there. Miss. We are getting in, you know, in assault range of those camp hexes there, but it's going to be hard. It's going to be really hard. And that was the medium troops. Then it's Spartacus' turn again. Tactics card or lowest order count. So it could be a counter attack that would get me to order six medium heavies wow this could even be a maybe not ending the game but not a bad one uh what else um 
the lowest order count would be this again, one unit of my choice. Um, nah, I don't know about that. I'm gonna actually do some, actually I need to check this as well. This should be up since we need to check the uh, uh, which is the lowest order count. Uh, no, I will actually do the counter attack and play medium troops. So I'm gonna order six of them. One, two, three. I will try to cripple the Romans really heavy now. Uh, three. Mm, four, five, and six. So, so I will not attack here, uh, that would be a bit crazy, but I will actually move these guys one step here, um, I'm, you know, I want to put some pressure on the Roman player, I might reach these guys now, right? Uh, these guys will also move towards the center and these guys will enter the woods again over here. So I'm gonna have a steady stream of troops that might join that battle here. And actually over here then, how should we proceed here? I'm gonna actually charge here. And then, well, um, I'm going to move these guys here and sacrifice that warrior. Here's what I will do. That's the plan. So, I'm going to charge here towards those guys. And if they don't manage to kill these guys, I have one more warrior charge to do, actually. And both are leader supported. So four dice. Hoping for some good results now. Well, two hits. Not super good, but not super bad either. And we're going to check that leader. It's not Mumius. It's an another Roman leader, he's fine. So they will battle back with four dice. Also getting two hits. Then we have this warrior attack. It's only three dice though, it's not full strength. Um, hoping to get two hits. Again, leader support. Oh crap, that was only one hit. Before we see if there's anything happening with those flags we need to check the leader again he's fine so it's two flags i could ignore both i could take both or i could take one uh, but the thing is if i it's our turn next as a roman player and um hmm i could kill that guy now and next turn, we could maybe kill another one. We could get two banners really quick here. I will stay and battle back. Four dice. Two hits. So we kill that unit eventually and get the first Roman banner. Okay, things might get interesting here now. Uh, because it's the Romans who go next, you know. So let's see what the Romans can do about it. They still had problems to activate in the center. So A, B or C, that's heavies, two left or a double time. This is very interesting. A double time in this cluster could do something. We could get 
back of those guys so they can't retreat. Same thing here. I'll play it now. I need to be aggressive with the Roman to do something. So these guys will double time. Even we have really, really, you know, weak troops. So we go here, we go here, and these guys will just go here, actually. Oh man. We're up for some really important roles now. So let's see where we start. I think we could start... Uh, we start with these guys attacking here. Against Spartacus. Four dice. One hit needed. We got it. So Romans are really catching up now. Here's the second banner. We're gonna roll for Spartacus with only one die. He's fine. So he can go to those... Uh, slingers there. We're gonna advance and we're gonna attack the second warrior with four dice once more. That's two hits. What we wanted. Can you believe it? This is a great Roman maybe turning point now. And I'm gonna actually take these ground as well. I need to get away now. Now we'll try to get that one. And I will actually this time sacrifice this unit so i'm gonna attack these guys will ignore actually two flags and they can ignore one sword symbol one symbol and one flag but they can ignore two flags since uh, they're both supported and, and in that um camp hex but one hit got through and they will battle back with two dice. You lose one die when you close combat out from a camp. So two dice. No leader support. Uh, a flag, which we will take. Then comes my main attack. Oops. And this is an important attack now. Really important attack. I actually... Yeah, I think I'll, I'll attack that hex. Same hex, actually. Four dice. Oops. Bad roll, but we got one hit in. Anyway, and they will battle back with two. No hits and the flag. And should we take that flag? I think we stay here, preventing these guys from throwing javelins against these weakened units. That's the plan. Okay, a good catch up by the Romans. They're actually in the lead now, but every turn is really important now. And we have a lots of weakened troops. We need three more uh, for Spartacus to win. Let's see what they can do. They got a D or E. So three in the center, that could be good. Four over here, we only have one. And they then we have that bad card. So we maybe play the three in the center, which is... The bad thing about that is we cannot activate Spartacus himself. But three in the center. Hmm. None of these heavy left there. Whew, this is... Uh, this is tough. This is actually quite tough for the Spartacus player now. Let's see, what else can we do? Hmm. This is for sure tough. I'm gonna go real crazy. You probably won't believe what I'm doing, but I will. I'm gonna actually play this one now. I need to get rid of this bad card. So play this. So we'll activate Spartacus. He will charge with his the slingers against <laughs> uh, legionaries. And as crazy that might sound, um, having hopes of actually getting one or maybe two units, two victory banners this turn. 
It sounds crazy, I know, but I might do it actually. Because we hit with leader symbols, we hit with blues. If we get them to... Okay, I cannot actually... They can ignore one of these flags. That's bad. Okay, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm trusting the luck that actually have been on Spartacus side lately. So let's see if we if that holds. Uh, two dice. I know this is crazy. I know it. Maybe we should actually go up the hill instead. One, two, and attack from here because if it fails, we are on a bit better terrain. Come on. Uh, that was a complete miss. So nothing happened. And we'll happy to be on this hill then. Well, that was a bit of a wasted turn. Sorry about that. Uh, I was hoping to be a bit lucky, you know, rolling up blue or a leader with two dice. I mean, that could be possible and it, even more possible to do it twice. And if you think of it, if you have gotten these two and maybe even this guy with a little loss check with one die, could have gotten the three banners in one blow, but it failed. So the Romans get another chance. A, B or C. Let's see what you have. Red, two on the right hand side. Suddenly this might be interesting actually. Actually, this is really... Hmm. Okay, let's see. And then we have the C slot, which is a first strike for the Romans. Okay, I think feel the luck is slowly going to the Roman side right now. So we can see what we have in slot C. Instead, we have three in the center. Hmm. So I could play the red heavies, ordering one unit. I could play two here. I could play three in the center, getting another heavy onslaught against that. Those camps, you know, I need two more banners and if I can get into that camp holding there, which would be difficult, of course, with one block unit. Uh, oh man, it's not easy with the Roman player either. We could also concentrate to kill these guys. I mean, if we could get that, and also... The leader, we would win the game. The thing is, though, we would need to block the retreat path to be sure, or, or they will just evade, you know? By activating these guys, I could get them in there, but who can I then place there? That's the big question. I mean, these guys could go one, two, three, four if the path is fine they cannot go this way because they need to stop here that sucks so my problem is if i move these guys here i cannot reach this hex if i move here i can reach it but then i have nothing to put here you see the problem so i cannot do it so that's why i'm thinking of actually going for the camp hexes instead with three in the center and then rely on I there will be a fierce counterattack if we don't win this turn, and we have this card. That's what I'm going to do. That's the Roman plan now. So I'm going to play three in the center, the C slot card, and I will activate my heavier troops here, together with Mumius, who is full strength here with his legionaries. So let's see now. Mumius will take a sidestep. These guys will go there, and these guys will go there. I'm counting on, hopefully, to get either two units or one unit and a camp or something like that. Let's see. Uh, we start from these guys, I believe. Yes, let's do that. It's four dice. Let's see what we get. Ignore that, but these two cannot be ignored. It's two hits, and these guys go actually down. We got another banner for the Roman. This is amazing. And we can go in. We could still attack once more. 
is that crazy to do? Can we afford to lose a unit? We can, because now we can actually kill that unit. I'll attack from camp to camp, giving me only three dice in the attack, but this might be worth it, actually, to be honest. Three dice. And we got one hit, and we got one flag, which they can ignore. Let's see now, one hit. The flag. If we get out, we need to assault that and get it. If we stay, we might get killed and game over because they have two attacks to do. I actually need to take the flag. That sucks, but I have to. The good thing is the Roman cannot get anything into the second camp hex this turn. So I'm gonna move out. These guys, guys could move into there. I think I'll do that, leaving this open. Uh, so these guys don't have any target, but these guys will actually attack the last camp there. Four dice. That's two hits and then two flags. They can ignore both. And this time I need to stay because I cannot give them the other camp hex. It will be too difficult to take back. So I'm gonna stay here, battle back with two dice. Well, that's a hit. That's a hit. So you're gonna check the leader. That's Mumius. He's fine. Okay. So suddenly, I mean, when this session started, it looked so good for the Spartacus player. Now suddenly the Romans, with their really weak forces, are giving it getting a you know a huge pressure on, on, on Spartacus. But it is Spartacus next time, and they have a few. I mean, they need three banners. Here's one, here's one. And here's one. If they can get three attacks uh, and kill these three one block units, they win. If they don't do it, they at least need to get this guy or the Romans will automatically win in the beginning of next turn. You see, because they... Ah, no, they actually need a guy over here as well. So I need to move up some more troops here. Okay, it's not an automatic win for them actually anyway. The big thing though for the Romans is they had a first strike. So even if we attack these one block units, they might hit first somewhere. Okay, let's see what Spartacus can play. It's a C or lowest order count. So that will be light troops or two units left or two units center. Uh, okay. Light troops. Could give us back this one with this. Um. Otherwise, two in the center or two over here. We could charge and attack with our mediums. We could get the good attacks in this turn. Uh, we need three banners. We need the three banners. We could get some really nice charges, actually. And if I play the light troops, we might get this back and we might do a few good, uh, you know, ranged attacks here actually. I'm gonna roll for it. So if I roll one, two, three, I'm gonna play two here. 
If I roll 4 to 6, I will do the light troops in the C slot. That's a 4. So Spartacus goes trusting the light troops to, you know, fire the Romans to oblivion. So here we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 units. That's a maximum number of units. So, I'm gonna go one step here. I might even go... One, two, three, four. I'm gonna do this instead. And... Two. And I'm gonna attack here. One, two, three. I'm gonna ride these guys down. I'm hoping for. And if I kill that guy, if I kill that guy, and if these guys might do some magic, that would be awesome. I think I will not do any more movement. I will attack from here. Uh, this is going to be really, really... Really, really dangerous. But I'm, you know, trying to get three banners. I know we have the first strike. That sucks, actually, when I think about it. Okay. Uh, and if they get it, they win. On the other hand, we should not know really that the other player has the first strike. So this is something, if I didn't know, I might have played like this in an ordinary game against another opponent. So I will do it. I will do it anyway. Though I know the first strike is there. So the question is then, who should we attack first? I think I would do the range stack first. So these guys will throw some uh, stones against these guys. Two dice. No hits. Then it's the question, should we attack here, here or here first? And that I will roll for because that will decide where we can play this one. So one, two, three, no, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we actually attack down here first. We're gonna see if we play that first strike or not. That's actually something that would affect these guys. So the Roma plays the first strike. We're gonna play here, attack first with four dice. Three hits needed. We got two. We got two. Uh, so these guys are still alive and can do the attack. So two dice, a blue needed. Ah, nothing bad. Crap, not even a flag. Well, that sucked. Okay, then I think I would attack uh, here first because I want to keep these guys from retreating. So I'm gonna attack from out from here first, three dice. These guys can ignore actually three flags and one sword symbol. Uh, bad roll, bad, bad roll. So the Romans will attack also with three. Oops. And there's the two hits. So these guys go down. The Romans get the fifth banner and they won the game five to two, even though it looked good for Spartacus for a while. But, well, I had to say I know if, I, okay, I understand if you feel that, well, why did you play like that in the end as a Spartacus player, since you knew that the Roman had this right? But I tried to, in my mind, think, I don't know what, what the hand is on the Roman side. So I, I would have, I mean, in this situation when the Romans are so close to victory and I had the chance to get three one block units, right? Even though it's only light units attacking, I would take my chances as the, in a normal play. So that's, uh, 
the motivation for me to do it. So I would have done this and this is why I did it. Uh, now it didn't get that good, uh, that good. I could, I, sh I, mean, I should have gotten a hit there. Uh, and I should f kill these guys off, that's for sure. This was the more shaky one and it, it didn't go that good. But I should have gotten that one in the roll. I got three dice, one blue enough. Uh, or if I rolled two, you know, sword symbols, one of them would have been a hit and so forth. Um, so too bad there, uh, but nothing to do. I could also have, and I did consider it in the in the beginning of the activation when I ordered the light units, I could have stayed here, just bombard, you know, and try to get the hits with the missiles. But if I did that, I gave, I would give, I, probably I would not get achieve victory by the ranged attacks and um, next turn the Romans would sure have gone into that camp hex or attacked and get get it or that one so I think I would have been toast as the Spartacus player anyway uh, it would have been interesting to see if I had played uh, two here instead and attacked with my heavier troops here see what would have happened the problem is when I think thought about it I could get these guys here, attack here, right? But these are ordinary mediums, so they couldn't continue the attack against the more weaker units if they would have destroyed these ones. And this guy, I could have attacked here, here, and these guys had the inherit, uh, inherit. Uh, um, they, they got this automatic, uh, you know, um, bonus attack and bonus combat. Um, if since they are warriors but they are down to three blocks so that sucked a bit i wanted these guys but they couldn't really reach them in that case i would have needed to go here and then giving these guys the way to do the bonus attack so it was it felt a bit too difficult and also i would probably have done this and this you know so i can kill these cripple these but then again next time would be the roman turn and they would probably secure those camps and I would be in a really difficult situation again with this, as the Spartacus player uh, because I, I saw that slight chance of getting the three one block units with light troops and winning the game uh, by snatching the victory from the Romans. So yeah, I hope you understand my decisions, there and choices. So anyway, I must say I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the real, you know, I was so sure that uh, Spartacus would win the battle at quite late in the game still. Uh, but somehow the Romans, Mumius, managed to, you know, keep the pressure on, even though the Romans were really, you know, weak actually quite early on here. They had two uh, full uh block um four block units here i believe when we started this session the second one and then two weakened one here and i believe uh the spartacus player had more power or less uh, or left here to attack with uh but they managed to do it and well hail and glory to to mumius he did <laughs> he did pull this through uh, even though he is now, if you look at it, he swarmed with uh, uh, slave units. But now, probably, slave units seeing Romans pouring into the camps, the morale starts to break, troops start to go back, I believe, and actually this guy should not be here, and these guys should not be here, right? So they're seeing uh, how the things unfold here now, and so they are starting to back up now. Uh, so Mumius did actually quite better than in, in history here. Um, and I said, I enjoyed it. It could have gone either way, actually. And it was a bit of a gambling in the end. And I like when that happens because it can give some surprise victories in the end if they have pulled through this last attack here. Anyway, again, congratulations to Romans. 5-2 to two in victory banners. Great, solid victory there. And... Um, I think that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it too. And well, next time we will go further southwards as we will uh, enter the year 71 BC and we'll see a battle in Brutium, 
where I believe um, Spartacus is charging um, uh, some Roman ramparts or walls uh, when they have been besieged for a while, I believe, down in Brutium. So, thanks again for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye for now.